going on, guys? Ryan Friedman from Ryan Friedman Motor Cars. It's a rainy day outside, so we're gonna take it in here today, give you a little tour of some of the vehicles that we have at our dealership, our showroom in Glen Cove. One car I wanted to first start off and explain about is the 997 GT3 RS. Now, this car I think you guys have seen is one of my personal cars I've had for many years. Some people know, some people don't know that this was originally the ruby stone colors, which I did that variation and then changed it to mint. Um, original from factory, it had the red decals and red wheels that would normally come with the white GT3 RS. The idea was every year to take it to Pebble Beach and change the color and make it a different variation and just for fun. But the problem is like anything else, you get these collectors, which we love, our, our, our customer base, that falls in love with cars that even are, are supposed to never be for sale. And this car, as you see with the details, like the interior, I mean, we went crazy with it to make it a custom spec. And uh, fortunately, but unfortunately, someone's taking it away from me. It's going to another great collection, staying local. But um, you know, this car is probably, in my opinion, the best value special Porsche under you know half a million dollars for the money. You're not finding anything that you could drive as a daily driver, drive you know as a weekend driver as a better car. Nothing, nothing that exists. Um, and as you know, we're pretty biased to the 997 uh, variation. So yeah, this car, everyone's saying, what should I get next? I, I also had this uh, amazing gray black GT3 RS with 7,000 miles. But then of course, right when this one sells, my personal white one, this one sells also. And uh, well, the sad part of what the business is involved with is that in order to stay in business, you gotta keep selling the cars. So ultimately, as much as we love our cars, we love our customers more. And I'm fortunate enough to be able to do this every day and hang out in this operation. As you see, if you look around and I give you a little bit more of a tour of how amazing, you know, just this work environment is, which really isn't work. Um, to give you a little bit more of a tour of some stuff that we focus on specifically is cars such as this blue one right here, um, paint the sample stuff. So we love anything that has a little edge to it. It started off with being like a low mileage clean car and not to say that got too easy because finding a car like that is extremely hard to acquire, but um, we wanted to take it up a notch. So finding paint a sample cars that you're just never gonna see, for example, this 2007 Carrera S, which is just, you know, your run of the mill base model for, um, you know, what it is not being a GT3 or a turbo. And, uh, but the person who ordered this, that's what's awesome. I mean, the person that ordered this chose the color Maritime Blue, which um, before I could even market it, a very good customer who I won't name, who buys every single paint and sample color car that we have, just had to have it. And it makes sense because for under $100,000, you know, mo most paint and sample cars, you're spending hundreds of thousands, if not close to a million dollars. And to get something like this under 100 grand that you can enjoy and go to a car show and spend, you know, seventy, eighty thousand dollars and have something that's just as cool as a two, three hundred thousand dollar GT3. It's pretty awesome, you know. So, and then right next to it, we have our typical, you know, favorite generation of the 997 of the turbos, the 997 model. And this car has eighteen thousand miles. Ended up selling it to a local customer who's now trading it in and upgrading to something else. But this car is amazing. It has low mileage, clean original paint, full carbon inside and it just needs a new home. But this is your average car that a customer that's coming up from like a Carrera S or something that's a little bit more basic, even a GTS, and you wanna get into something a little bit more extreme, you know, this would be the example that you would choose. A first generation turbo, great price point in the 120s, and only has room to grow. Um, I say that because a lot of these cars, in my opinion, that are uh, still under MSRP from when they were new back in the day, still are gonna surpass that or be equal to that. And the fact that they're less, in my opinion, means that they have room to grow. So an example of right here is you have, again, going back to the, my personal GT3 RS, which this car knew was in the 160s. And you know this car sold close to $300,000. So, it, and still it's, not, it's a lot of car for the money, but the, the truth is that this car is appreciated tremendously and it still is going to appreciate tremendously. Another car to talk about we have on the wall I could show you is our 2011 GT3 RS 4.0 in orange. They only made a handful of paint to sample cars and that car example as well was only $200,000 and that car sold for over a million dollars. Um, wish I never sold it, but again, as I said, we have to stay in business. You know, even though you see tons of Porsches here, 
We do mess with other brands. We, we do love all different vehicles. One being a Gallardo manual. Such an underrated, undervalued car. You know, someone will say even though $200,000 is a lot of money, but when comparing relative cars that you could find for the money, I mean, that car is 6,000 miles, a V10 gated shifter. So cool. People may think, oh, it's a Gallardo. It's not a Murcielago. It's not something uh, crazy extreme, but how many are on the market? There's, there's, there's none with the miles like this. Some that are modified. And we also have a coupe. We just got a 2,600 mile coupe in red, which is impossible uh, to find. We actually sold that car with 500 miles and bought it back from the customer. He traded it in for a Murcielago that we helped acquire him. So it's not only Porsches, but even though it is mainly Porsches, if we find something that's unique and special that either that we want or we think that is, is good inventory, or a customer's looking for, we're always able to help find it. But again, why these uh, Gallardos are so underrated is just, it's beyond me that people just don't snag these up as soon as they're listed for sale. We have probably the two best in the country right now, and, and those are amazing cars. Come to the back, and I'll show you some other great inventory that we have. My all-time new favorite, which is the blueprint for every GT3 that exists now, is the 996 GT3 RS. This is a dream car of mine. Uh, more than a bucket list car. I hope it stays forever. I never want to sell this car. This one has 1,600 miles. They only made these, they never made these for America. So having one sitting here is surreal. They made it with the white with the red wheels or white with blue wheels. There was only two choices. And these cars are, in my opinion, again, sleepers. So underrated. Uh, you can only have them here under the show and display exemption. So even being able to find one in Europe or overseas and, and get it here and, and get it federalized, it's a whole process in itself. And finding an example in this condition is impossible. Uh, now this car is something we can't show yet, something that's gonna be in the personal collection, but I'm sure you'll love the secrets over here. Someday in the near future, we'll show you what's underneath the covers. But um, another great car you gotta love is this 928 GTS. They didn't make a lot of these, and what's most special about this car, it's a manual transmission. Adding to the fact that it's low miles, 10,000 miles, it's European versions, but polar silver on magenta, insane color combo. You're never gonna find something like this. By far the best in the world, I guarantee. We, we started getting into the, some of the 928s. You have the GT models, the S4 models, and again, they have to be a clean variation. Why do we like to do stuff like this and deviate from like a 911? These cars are sleepers. They're a good value play. Not the GTS is like 250,000, but other 928s for 70, 80 thousand dollars. A lot of car for the money. A V8 front engine Porsche with four seats in it. As you see these days now, a lot more families are getting involved in um, you know going to car shows and stuff like that. So having the back seats is an awesome addition for you have kids and stuff. So um, yeah, these cars amazing, amazing, amazing. Another one of my favorites, of course, going back to a 997. A red 997 Turbo is, is so hard to find. You usually see them in silver, black, stuff like that. Obviously, finding a paint-to-sample version is uh, very, nearly impossible as well. They only made a few of them. But being a, a red model, convertible, awesome car, this one right here only has 5,000 miles. Check it out on our website. This is something that is gonna be a future collectible. You're not gonna lose money. And people always ask me, are these cars investments? Are you in the car business and whatnot? And a simple way to describe it is it's, it's really not the car business. People say, oh, how's the market going? It's really not the car business. You're dealing with art. You're dealing with people that are investing in real estate and many other, other you know, left field investments and putting it into cars is one of those things that many, many collectors do or many wealthy established businessmen do. And even if you're not a successful wealthy person, you're just getting into the car world, you buy one of these cars you know, for $50,000 and in a couple of years it could be worth 200. It's just you got to know what you're looking at. But yeah, this really isn't, this business is not really affected by the normal market, let's say. And, and in my, from what I've seen, if the market changes, the stock market, stuff like that, people tend to put their money into hard assets, which is, you know, like these right here that we're looking at. 991 on this side, the left side, maybe not so collectible yet, but you know, this has an edge where it has an aero kit. It's a wide body because it's a C4S. So, but again, price point car, you know, you, you don't have to be a full collector investor mentality. You could also just want to have a cool sports car. For under 100,000, this is a great car. But if you're looking for something where you want to park your money, but also touch it, look at it, drive it, enjoy it, 
Like this red turbo right here is a sleeper for sure. We have this 1986 Targa, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Not a G50, G50 started in 87, that's the transmission. This is a 915 transmission, but this is a paint to sample car. And why I think this is so unique is because it's a marble gray, very subtle paint to sample car. It's not your RS green or orange or maritime blue, you know, colors like this. And if there, you can look right actually next to the white GT3, how the difference in color really, you know, pops with the gray. So finding something like this is just so unique. Great driver, under $100,000, 25,000 miles, definitely a future collectible. Most cars like these, you know, people just used and abused and they have higher miles. But when you find one like this, I mean, it's, it's a lot of car for the money. And then we go into some Italian stuff, 355s, 348s. And again, we're not, at Ryan Free Motor Cars, we're not like the company that buys the multi-million dollar cars, right? We, we try to find a great car for a value buyer, a value car, so let's say. So like these, these two right here, 348. 19,000 miles, fully serviced, engine outdone. Same thing with this car, 19,000 miles on this as well, and full engine service completed as well. F1 transmission, but still a great car for, you know, around 150, dollars $140,000. It's, it's an amazing, amazing car. You go to look at a new Porsche right now, or even a new Ferrari, you're spending three to $400,000. Um, so, you know, having something like this, that's like a classic piece of, of Ferrari history, um, awesome car, and it can, anybody can get into it uh, at its price point. Right here we have a Z8 Alpina edition. Awesome car, you may recognize this from the James Bond movies. The one thing I wish they did is I wish they made the Alpinas in a manual transmission. They only made them in an automatic, but this being black with red interior, uh, 6,000 miles, I mean this car is just classy timeless looking, doesn't get better for BMW sports car department. Definitely one of my favorites. And now let's go one more at air-cooled. We love our air-cooled stuff. 964 Targas, 993 Coupes, anything in the air-cooled division. This is just an amazing car. Polar Silver, which is the same exact color that was on the 928 GTS and has blue interior, which is a great contrasting color combo and only 13,000 miles. You know, some people say also, um, is buying a car with such low miles good or is it bad, or even if it was not used? Um, you know, the way I look at it, it's all about how it's kept and the owner. You look at all the rubbers and the seals and the plastics and stuff on the car and you need some service records and history and if you could tell, you could tell from that if the car is a good car or not. The previous owner of this has used it from time to time, he's has always serviced it and um, you're not going to find a better example for collector world for sure. Downstairs we could show you our service shop where we do some work on some cars. Louie, come here, give me a little explanation of some air-cooled stuff. You're good at this. Louie, don't trip, come on. So this is Louie Pavlunas. No, Louie's no, been no. working with me since day no, one. No, 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 no. Don't introduce me. You don't have to introduce me. Please don't introduce me. <laughs> Why not? I don't need, you don't need to know my name. I'm just Guy. Louie, shit. shit. <laughs> Did you get that in video? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so meet Louie. He's Dude, my 38 year old son. I'm 37, by the way. <laughs> Louis, he just messes around with everything. Why we keep him here, I have no freaking clue. But he knows he his cars to, really he well. To. I mean, I put food on the table. A he bit. puts food on the table. That's right. <laughs> Talk about car. this car, Louis. You love it. Talk uh, about it. Paint. Make love to it. All right. Well, every Porsche, like air cooled stuff, like when you're going through a car, you gotta make sure you have all the tools. So you always gotta have the compressor. <laughs> your your tool kit, it's a paint sample, it's marble gray. How many marble grays have you ever seen in this car? Uh, I have, this is the first one and the only one I've ever seen in person in marble gray. 92 has an updated motor um, with updated seals and gaskets. It's less prone to seeping oil, but all 964s have oil leaks. So don't expect them all to be perfect. An easy way to distinguish. And then also the mirrors. Exactly. Sure, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's what I was gonna go say. Ahead. An easy way to distinguish that it's a, the mirrors. A .2964 is the mirrors, the rounded mirrors. Right. And uh, this car's insane. Show them the inside of it. It's got sports seats, uh, and then it's also got the uh, center stack, which is a rare option. The wood shifter, the wood trim on the uh, e-brake handle. So yeah. what happened? This car came in and was running a little rough. Why? What, what was the diagnosis? Uh, it needs a fuel pressure regulator. So the gentlemen that we just introduced you to are the guys who will resolve the issue and make the car run 100%. <laughs> Ryan, I will just show them and sell them to you. Yeah, so my role is basically to just <laughs> source them. Well, Louie does the sourcing and just sell them. 
we car do we a little actually, bit of everything. Both a little of bit us. Of everything. A little bit of everything. This car we imported from uh, London. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome 964 coupe. Sunroof Delete, which is a very, very rare option to have on one of these cars. People love the sleek, all original look, no sunroof. Uh, another air-cooled car I'll really give you some info on is this Speedster Paint a Sample. I've never seen a Paint a Sample Speedster in person. This is Hellgelb. It looks like summer yellow, but it's, it is Hellgelb. 1989, the only year that they made them for. And this has a, an, an amazing interior mahogany. Some people would think black would look better. It's a little controversial color, but anything that's different and unique is what makes it really cool. And I think this car looks completely sexy in this color combo. You'll never find another one like it for sure. Not even a question. The out, color of, out of these three, which one are you taking? The Speedster. The Speedster? Yeah. Should we take this to Pebble Beach? Why not? What else should we take to Pebble Beach? Oh, I mean, are we allowed to discuss on the no, interwebs? No, we're not allowed to discuss the other thing. Not on the interwebs? Not the new car that's coming in. So Which one are you going to drive during Pebble Beach? Oh, man. I don't know. It's a tough one because there's all inbound. What the... about the Mint Roadster? You want to take that one? Yeah. Oh, that's of course. That's a, that's a, like We're not going to let Louis jump it because he obviously just saw what happened with Louis. Yeah, you guys just saw the eight. first. It's awesome that you guys saw the first. And now to explain, we also, again, we buy cars that are fun, sports cars. We, this is a, a 325 CI. E46. E46, black with red interior, in a manual transmission with a manual top, which is pretty cool. Show so again, me uh, a track, which is the European HVAC. It's an yeah, European car. Yeah, you can see in there, the air conditioning unit, which is pretty cool. So it's analog, and also it's kind of cool that it has a manual top, so you have, like, you know, less uh, hydraulics and other things prone to failure, it gets rid of all that. So you just got a nice, so, cool manual top. This is a value, you know, under $30,000 car. We try to find something for everybody that they can enjoy. You cool color combo, great condition, low miles. What's the miles on it? Like 40,000 miles? Yeah, 40, low 40 and change, yeah, like 43. Cool. And this is uh, another awesome car. White on Boxster Red, Sunroof Delete. This just sold. We just got prepped for a customer is getting ready to leave tomorrow. Uh, amazing car, awesome 996. In the mid 50s, upper 50s uh, price point, but a great car for the money for sure. Yeah, color combo. We've only have all the what over 600 Porsches we've easily sold, and this maybe is one other one that had the uh, the white box or red combo. So just upstairs, what I was talking about with the yellow Gallardo, and how I think that's a very underrated, undervalued car. This is a car that we once had about two years ago or three years ago. We actually acquired it from John Tamarian in uh, Florida, curated, had 500 miles on it. Awesome, awesome, awesome rare car. We just took it back on trade. It now has 2,600 miles and the customer just bought a Murcielago manual from us. This is an unbelievable car, unbelievable car. And this is where we do our photo shoots. So we have the turntable here and this wallpaper we actually have that we put on pier just to mimic where we originally started, Here we'll which was basically we started in a basement apartment, uh, basement of um, an apartment building, and we took photos with a concrete foundation wall. Now here we are using a spinny thing to do this. Never in a million years did I think that it would turn into a business like this and have great people that work with us, be able to be around my friend Louis 24 seven. Thank you, I feel honored. But yeah, so long story short is, you know, stay tuned for other stuff and we'll show you a lot more cars, some driving videos, some tours of all the cars outside when the weather gets a little bit nicer and we'll keep going back and forth on cool stuff. Please, if you guys want to see more stuff on a daily basis, you can check out our Instagram, at Ryan Friedman Motor Cars. You'll see all different stories, videos. Subscribe to our channel as well and you get more detailed private stuff that won't be out to the public. Different viewings of cars, such as that one under the cover upstairs that we can't display or show yet, but you'll see tons of cool stuff in the next few months coming out from our channel. Take care.